the noise in Atlanta starts around 6 in the morning and doesn't end till around 11 at night, and even then, it's loud. And it's just a constant problem with it. I'm Annette Cook. I'm 15 years old. I'm a student at Grady High School in Atlanta, Georgia, in the Environmental Studies Project. I'm doing a project on noise pollution in Atlanta. Noise is a big problem in Atlanta because it is a growing city and you have all forms of transportation and building and construction sites, this type of thing that um, raise the noise levels a great deal. What are you doing? Uh, taking sound level readings of traffic. Oh, the noise so in the city uh, Yes. Yeah. City noise, um, traffic noises as com downtown as compared with maybe outside of town, some other place like that. And I'm using a sound level meter, so it's pretty high quality. And most of the readings have been between 70 and 80 decibels, except like when a truck comes by or a bus, and then it can get over 80, between 80 and 90 decibels. Is that hurting our ears? Huh? If you listen for too long, it could. <laughs> Just don't stand out in the cold. And but it doesn't begin to hurt until it's above 130, but you can be affected by it below that. And it's not crazy at all to go around and see how loud it is because the people in the businesses sometimes don't realize how loud it is or they don't pay too much attention to it. So if people like me don't go out and do it, nobody will. Noise is a problem, but it doesn't have to be a problem to such a great degree that it is because there are ways to muffle jackhammers. You connect power with noise, and the less loud something is, you say, well, it's not working as well. But this isn't true, but it's just the way people have been brought up. So until people become aware that noise is a problem, they're not going to try to make cars quieter or airplanes quieter or trains quieter. But it doesn't have to be as loud as it is. If I can talk to people about what I've done and about what I hope to find, then it gets them interested um, sometimes. And I can talk to them about things that they can do to maybe help the noise problem if I find that in that certain place it is a problem. And most of the times they will listen. Whether they can do anything about it at that particular time or not is up to them. But still, I help other people become aware of noise as a problem. trains going by now and airplanes overhead and this is a supposedly quiet residential area in Atlanta but it's not any quieter than maybe downtown Atlanta or maybe around 10 decibels quieter so there's no place to escape. up to around 130 decibels, that's the pain threshold. And if you're listening to a rock band or something and they get up higher than that, you can physically feel it. I think if I get enough people interested and if they in turn get enough people interested, then maybe we can change some public attitudes about noise so that if the people demand it enough, then companies, airplanes, airports, this type, will um, cut down on their noise levels. And they can do it, and there are ways that they know how to do it, but as long as people don't want it, they're not going to do anything about it. And I think that, I hope that I can help change some attitudes about that and then maybe get enough people up so that we can do something about it and reduce the noise in Atlanta.